this morning. My name is Wen Zhou Huang. I will be giving the presentation, Understanding the Fundamentals of a Systematic Trading Solution. I would like to thank the folks at FX Street for organizing this presentation. So let's begin. So we're going to start out with a bit of introduction of myself, uh, my company, and understanding the industry landscape, um, understanding your emotional states, and regarding the motor color simulation, which is the fundamentals of systematic trading. Um, so again, my name is Wen Zhou Huang. I'm the author of The Bull, The Bear, and The Baboon, FX Lessons Learned the Hard Way. Um, you can grab a book, a copy of my book on Amazon.com. A bit about myself. I have 15 years of automated system design. I am a registered professional engineer. I used to work for some of the largest high-tech uh, company in, the, uh, in Canada when we manufacturing a million phone, we would automate the test process. And what I have done is that I have made the transition from automated system design into automated trading, because I truly believe that the technology can help us remove the emotional from trading. Now, um, these beside the book, I also am a joint author of several academic uh, papers, uh, which is important because, uh, you know, in terms of it's not about trading based on gut feeling, but you got to have the, the statistic and the credibility behind your trading program. Now, um, we're going to do two books giveaway. So I'm going to be um, so basically, right now, um, we have six, 11 participant attendees in, the, the, in, in, in this presentation. So your chance of getting a book is really good. So what's going to happen is that we're going to do two draw. So one draw would be based on the participations. Another draw would be done by FX uh, Street. So uh, what it is, is FX Street has your contact information. And what they're going to do is that they're going to do a draw and announce it uh, tomorrow. For me, uh, I'm going to do a, a draw of the book in real time. So basically what it is, is get your email out and get it ready. Um, you will need to send the email to Windsor at CTS4X.com. Uh, don't send it yet. Within the email, you need to have your name, the your shipping address, and of course you have to include your country. And then what we're going to have is that you must have a participation keyword in this email in order to be considered a valid entry. So this is my autograph book giveaway. Uh, FX Street will do another um, random raffle which is going to be um, announced tomorrow. Whereas for my book giveaway, we're going to do it right after the um, presentation. So let's get started. So get your email ready, because once I give you the participation keywords, uh, you send in your email, and we're going to do a random draw that way. So uh, given that you know the number of attendees is um, 14. We're giving out two books, so your chance of getting an autographed copy of my book is very, very good. So let's start. Um, first, we have to talk about the industry landscape. Why is this important? Because you have to realize that in trading, there are two schools of thought, the discretionary versus the systematic trading. Currently, there are 103 Forex CTA firm managing $35 billion worldwide. Guess what? 21 billion is using systematic trading. So this is, we're talking about automated 
trading altogether. So whereas there's only 14 billion asset under management is being traded using manual trading. This is the gut feeling, the, the, the drawing of trend line, the following of the fundamental and technical, what have you. So you have to understand is that manual trading is being displaced. And because of the technology currently available to all of us, everybody is moving toward computerized systematic trading. Because you have to realize is by now, guess what? The Forex twin market is 24 hours a day. If you were trying to trade manually, you have to be following the market 24 hours a day, which is impossible. And us as human, we make bad traders because what it is is that would you like to be wake up at four in the morning or three in the morning? When you're in your deep REM sleep, that's when you know the market moves, regardless of where you are in the world. Uh, stuff like that, you gotta remember that this is where systematic trading comes in because it allows you to monitor the market 24 hours a day. Now, the London Business School uh, Center for Hedge fund research have done the study, and I'm quoting their finding is the systematic has higher median survival rate than discretionary trading. So basically, what they're saying is that firms or CTA who are using systematic trading, they actually last longer in this market. That's the bottom line, because you know, if you're trading manually, can you deal with the stress? Can you follow the market 24 hours a day? Can you keep up consistently for 10 years in a row? So that's what you have to remember. Now, systematic trading provide a more superior and consistent risk management. What it is, is that I'm not making this up. This is come from the actual research that has done and been published in the economic uh, industry. Now, how many of you have heard of the uh, total experiments? In the Jerry Parker is the top total trader trained by Richard Dennis. And basically what he's saying, look, his trading is 100% systematic. And if they made money in the wrong way, they would be in trouble with Dennis. So basically the total experiments have been done you know, years ago. And you know, back then they were already using systematic trading solution. So as computer get more powerful, guess what? They become a stronger and stronger ally. Before we get into that, um, let's walk to your emotional state. Let's say that you get into a trade, okay? What happened is that the trade is going with you, as in you start making money right away, how would you feel? Optimism, right? Guess what? You start making more money. Oh, you get more excitement. Ah, the market even goes up. Guess what? You're thrilled because you're so smart. You made the right decision. So as the market goes up, your, your, your emotional state become higher and higher. Ah, now, guess what? You're on top of the world because you got in and it just went up, 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 up. Well, you know what's coming because nothing goes up forever. So when the market start to turn a little bit, what would happen to your emotional state? You start feeling a bit of pain, right? Anxiety. Now, the market goes down a bit more suddenly you lost a lot of your profit. What do you start saying to yourself? Oh, it's a temporary setback. I'm a long-term investor, right? This is what you're doing and you're saying to yourself, you know, you're in the dial state right now. So what happened when the price that you got in, now 
the current price is less than the price that you got in. Guess what? You start to panic because you start losing money, right? The price go down even further. Guess what? Desperation starts setting in. Now, the price even go down even further. What happened to you? You start having capitulation because you say, how could I have been so wrong? I could I could have, I should have exited when I made a lot of profit, but I didn't. I hang on, I hang on. And guess what? The market went against me and it's not giving me a break. Now, as you continue to hang on, guess what? The market's not recovering. It's going down even further. What's happening to you right now? This is where depression set in, right? And trust me, as a trader, we go to all these states and this is the worst, worst state possible. And by luck, oh, the market start turning up for you. So it's giving you a bit of hope, okay? Now, the market go up even higher, close to where you first got in. So you feel a bit relief. Now, the market went up past the, your entry price. So you start making money again. Guess what? You start feeling optimism again. These are your emotional states. And guess what? You, every single trader would experience this, okay? Regardless if you're a good trader, bad trader, you know, everybody go through this. But am I really exaggerating all these states? Which part have been exaggerated? Any guesses? Well, guess what? What I'm talking about exaggeration here is that the period of time when you're feeling optimism, excitement, thrill, and on top of the world, that period of time is a very, very short period. Guess what? Most of the time, you, we be feeling anxiety, Denial, panic, depression, capitulation, depression, hope. We're talking about 10% of the time you're happy, your adrenaline is pumping, you're making money in the market. Guess what? But the other 90%, you're, you're suffering emotionally. So in the long term, it's not a healthy um, career selection, if you want to call it. Okay, so basically what it is, is that these are the states that you have to ask yourself what's happening to you and how, what kind of tool can you use to help you overcome these emotional states, right? Because why do you trade? To make money, right? The bottom line is you want that financial freedom, but are you feeling this pain? Is it hourly? Are you feeling it daily? Are you feeling it weekly, right? Are you even feeling it monthly? So basically what I'm saying to you is that if you are not coming to the market with an edge, then you're gonna be feeling a lot of pain, okay? Now, how many of you are aware that Warren Buffett has a photographic memory? Anybody? How many of you are aware of that? Guess what? You are competing with some of the brightest mind in the world. And some of these fund managers has photograph mem memory. So how are you supposed to compete with them? Some of the fund managers has Asperger's syndrome. So basically what it is, is guess what? These guys have a sickness where they can look and stare at the chart for hours going through reading material, analyzing stuff because they have a, some sort of sickness which allow them to be super, super focused. Guess what? You have to be constantly thinking, what is my edge before you even get into this market because you are competing against some of the smartest guys some guy with photograph mem memory, some guy 
with a lot, a lot of money. So you're always asking about yourself. Uh, many people ask me, well, what is my edge coming into the market? I tell them, look, I have been a professional engineer for more than 15 years. And my edge is automated system design. And what I have done is I have taken that and apply it into trading. So hence, that's my edge coming to the market. So for all of you, I, I implore you to start thinking about your edge. Because if you're coming to the market without an edge, you're going to be suffering this emotional state. And it's not a good thing. All right. So the solution that we're looking at is systematic trading, because what does it do? It eliminates the human emotion. It enhances the risk control, and it minimizes the risk of failure. Okay, That's why systematic trading is very, very important. Why systematic trading is very important in the financial world is this. Look, if your account is $10,000, okay? Now, when you scale it up to 10 million, what it is is that a lot of you, when you lose $1,000, you already feel the pain because $1,000 is a lot of money because it will take you know a week, sometime two weeks for you to earn that $1,000. Where systematic trading is scalable because guess what? When you scale it up to 10 million, Losing a million is a lot, a lot of money because guess what? Some of us and some of you, it would take a lifetime to earn a million dollar, right? So the, the human emotion is always in there and we have to talk about scaling things up because basically you want your financial freedom. Guess what? If you have problem trading with your $10,000 account because you have fear of losing $1,000, Guess what? When you start trading with 10 million, losing a million is, is something that you, you should be thinking about also. So with the systematic trading, it's all about repeatable. When you scale it up, can you repeat what it is that you're trying to do? Now, nothing is more consistent than the computer, bottom line, right? The computer can be more consistent. Us as human, you know what? We're lazy sometimes. Sometimes, you know what? There was a good late night TV show, so you kind of watched it. So, you know, now you're having problem waking up at 5.30 in the morning to follow the market. Or, you know, your friends from out of town came in, so, you know, you kind of hang around with them, have some drinks and stuff like that. Now you got a hangover. It's 5.30 in the morning. Can you consistently wake up at 5.30 in the morning to follow the market? Um, guess what? Your kid got a flu and the germ pass on, pass on to you. Now you kind of feel uh, sick. Guess what? Can you consistently wake up at 5.30 in the morning? Because when you're sick, your mental state, you're outside the zone. So your trading techniques, your trading mentality uh, is affected and hence also your risk management, right? So, you know, it, it's nice to say you can take a day off. But the bottom line is that the market is there 24 hours a day, right? And it's all about, you know, being an athlete. If you are in the Olympic and you're supposed to be competing, can you take a day off? No. Every day you have to show up and perform. Guess what? This is where the computer exceeds human being because it doesn't take any days off. Okay, so I mean, bottom line is that you have to think in terms of what you're good at and what the computer is good at and and how you can combine the two to help you out. Right. Because you also have to be performing at the peak of your potential. So systematic trading is the solution. So um, we're at the point of the Monte Carlo simulation. This here is where you send in your email and the participation keyword is Monte Carlo simulation. So send in your email right now. And at the end of this presentation, I will pick a name 
and declare that the winner of the book. Then what it is is that tomorrow, FX Street would do another raffle of my autographed copy of my book. So this is really nice uh, up there. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world. I will send that book to you. So, uh, you know, uh, remember, you got to have your name, address, and this participation keywords in order to qualify for the raffle. Now, here are the six fundamentals of systematic trading. Number one is the number of trades. Number two is the winning percentage, okay? Number three is the average winning trade. Number four is the average losing trade. Number five is initial capital versus losing streak. And number six is unprofitable versus different type of profit. Okay, these are the six fundamental of systematic trading solution. I know that there's a lot of EAs and, and expert advisor that you can buy on eBay. There's software that you can buy for, you know, $49 claiming that they have 90% winning trade and that they made, um, you know, 2,000% uh, gain in the last three weeks. Guess what? A lot of those software violate these six fundamentals. So it's important for you to understand these six fundamentals such that in the future, when you will come across any trading system, any software, any expert advisor, or any trading system, guess what? You always have to check these six fundamentals. So write this down, memorize this, because it's very applicable to your trading career. And if you don't memorize it, if you don't understand it, guess what? It's going to come back and haunt you. And this is where you're going to constantly be end up losing money. So let's play a game. Um, we're going to skip this part right now, but let's play a game. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to play a game, which is a fair coin toss game. So as you know, a fair coin has 50-50. So 50% head, 50% tail. And I'm going to toss the coin. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's be even better. I will let you toss the coin because if I toss the coin, then you say, well, you know, I could be manipulating and stuff like that. And you know what? Maybe we even use your coin instead of mine. Okay. That way, there's no point of, you know, there's not a chance that I could be cheating. So let's set up some rule and boundary for this game. It is. So we know for certain, being it is a fair coin, it's 50-50, right? Now, what I'm going to do is that every single time when you flip the coin and it's head, I give you $11, okay? So your average winning trade is $11. And every single time you flip tail, you lose $10. So I take $10 away from you. So let me repeat the game again. It's a fair coin of 50-50. If you flip head, I give you $11. If you flip tail, I take $10 away from you, okay? How many of you would play this game with me? I mean, that's pretty good because you, you, you know, it's a fair game. It's your coin. You're doing the coin toss. I'm not doing coin toss. So, you know, how many of you would play this game with me? Right? It's a good odd. Right? So, okay. Now, let us let me give you more information. Okay? So, the reward to risk ratio is 1.1. Why? Because, you know, you would win $11. You would lose $10. Your winning percentage is 50%. Now, if your initial capital is $200, Okay, I ask you the question again, would you play this game with me? So imagine that you have $200 in your pocket. Okay, now the coin is 50-50, we're using your coin. You flip the coin, if it's head, you win $11. If it's tail, you lose $10. Would you play this game? It's a fair coin toss, it's not a trick, right? So how many of you would say yes? 
And how many of you would say no? And if you say no, can you say the reason why? All right, so, so far I only got one person that would play, okay, play with me, okay? Uh, anybody else that would play? Okay, so one person no. The risk reward ratio isn't that good. All right. Um, I don't know. Risk reward ratio is pretty good because, you know, in terms of $11, so each time, you know, on average, you win a dollar. Okay. All right. So some of you are writing that the risk to reward ratio isn't that good. That is why you're not playing the game. That is almost right, but it's not correct. What it is, is that, oh, some, uh, somebody said it's, not, it's just gambling. Um, guess what? To be honest, trading is, has a bit of element of gambling in it. Um, if you don't realize that, you're in trouble um, because nobody knows, nobody knows where the market is going. So when you're doing trading, yes, you are gambling. And if you say you can use Elliott Wave, you can use Fibonacci, if you can use Trendline Support and Resistance, guess what? Um, you know what? That is where the gambling from because no one can consistently, consistently predict the market, okay? So remember the six fundamental of systematic trading. We're gonna go back and check that, okay? So let's, first of all, we know the winning percentage. We know the average winning trade. We know the average losing trade. So let's look at what is working against you is the number of trades, okay? So it's not about the risk to reward ratio. It's not, we're not, we're not even there yet. We're just talking about a fundamental. So you always go back and and, and, and check, double check against these six fundamental. Because if one of them doesn't work, the rest will fall apart. Regarding if you're risking 5% per trade, 2% per trade, even 1% per trade, okay? Because if you don't look at these six fundamental, you're gonna end up wiping your account, okay? So um, I know that many, many of you have read books and says that you should never risk more than 2% per trade and stuff like that. No, no, forget all about that. Just copy these six fundamental down. Every single time you come across a trading book, a trading system, you use these six fundamental and you benchmark against, you know, whether or not the author of the book is correct. Because A, the number of trades. Guess what? If we're doing 10 trades, yeah, I would play this game because you have a very good chance of making money, okay? But if we're playing this thing, 200 trade, uh, 200 trade, 500 trade, or uh, 1,000. So um, I, I'm switching back between the number of coin toss versus the number of trade. Because what I'm saying is, look, are you saying that, you know, in your lifetime as a trader, you're going to only making, you know, 10 trade, 20 trade, 100 trade? No, in your lifetime as a trader, you should be thinking that you're going to be making more than a thousand trade, right? Bottom line. So that's the big numbers that you should be thinking about. So the number of trade as you as a trader that you'll be taking should be more than a thousand trade. If you think, well, you know, you're going to swing for the fences and you're going to uh, just going to make 10 really, really good trade or 10 really good decision in your trading career and you're gonna be rich? Well, I think that um, you, you're, you're not thinking properly. So the number of trade equal to the number of coin tosses. So you always have to think about large number because what I'm saying here is that the number of trade is part of the hidden risk here because that's a number of coin toss because the more coin toss it takes, you would get yourself in trouble because your initial capital is not large enough, okay, to accommodate a possible losing streak, okay? 
So what I'm trying to make you understand is always go back and double check these six fundamentals, okay? So how do you calculate these risks? Um, it's easy, you can do it using Excel formula. There's also online tools, but what it is is that actually this software is included in my book. So if you purchase a copy of my book, at the end of the book, there's an email address on there and you sent me a, um, a receipt that you purchased the book, I will send you the software and the 23 page instruction uh, manual on this. So let's go back and talk about this Monte Carlo simulation because we know it's a fair coin 50-50% trade, okay? The other thing that we know that your initial capital is $200. And your average win is $11 and your average loss is $10. So when you click on the single run button, what it is is that it's going to perform 20 coin tosses or 20 trades. I'm uh, sorry, 200 trades. Okay. What would happen is that with the simulation, you would see that your equity would go from 200, go up to a maximum of $263. But you, there's also a chance that you know you will actually end up losing. So basically, by clicking in this on single run button each time, you do a simulation. Sometimes you win after 200 trade. Sometimes you lose after 200 trade. But what I'm saying is that 200 trade is not a big enough sample. You should be talking about a thousand trade or more, right? So this is why it always go back to the six fundamentals of systematic trading system, okay? What I want to implore you to understand is with any trading system, right? With the simple coin toss, guess what? If you toss the coin a million times or 10 million times, guess what? At 50% winning trade, you will see approximately 23 consecutive losing streaks. Now, is that, isn't that crazy? That is insanely crazy because it's a fair coin. How is it possible that you can have 23 consecutive tail, right? And that's what you need to know. So it's very, very important for you to understand is that there are some system developer out there, you know, what they do is after 10, consecutive losing trade, what they do is they start modifying their trading system. But I mean, in this example we have a fair coin, how could you be modifying a trading system after 10 consecutive losing trade? There's nothing wrong with your trading system, right? And yet you experienced 23 consecutive losing trade. So this is why it is extremely important for you to understand the maximum well, this is the, the average because the maximum is even more because this is what they're talking about black swan event. Because, you know, if you flip a coin 10 million times, you can expect, you know, potential of 23 consecutive losing trade as normal. But a black swan event would happen is guess what? You can have 50 consecutive losing trade. Right, that's a black swan event because it's unexpected. Whereas here, 23 consecutive losing trade is expected. So for, for me, what my firm does is that, yes, we're doing 100% systematic trading solution. But what we do is we manage the risk because we go through the Monte Carlo software and determine A, you know, what is the potential of losing streak, okay? B, we also put in what is the worst case scenario in terms of you have a black swan event of 50 consecutive losing trade. And that's what you should be thinking. So, you know, whenever you come across a trading software, you always have to ask, well, the number of trade, you know, what's the winning percentage? What's the losing percentage? You know, what's the average win, average loss? These are six fundamental that you always has to be constantly thinking. So within the software that is included in the book, um, you 
run the Monte Carlo. So what it is, is that you enter in the number of simulation. So here I enter in 10,000. Now each simulation is 200 trade. So you basically what we're doing is we're doing 200 trade multiply 10,000 times. Okay, so we have a massive, massive um, sample to show what it is that we're doing. So when we press click on this Monte Carlos, you know, here, this is what you're seeing that, look, you know, for your 200 bucks, yeah, you can go as high as $951. As in, yeah, you come up on top making money, but there are also a chance where you actually lose a lot of money and wipe yourself out. Okay, but based on this sample, you see this, it's showing that you can have a possibility of 19 consecutive winning trade, which is really good. But you can also have a simulation loss streak of 18 consecutive tail, right? So in the previous graph here, I'm saying, sorry, uh, in the previous graph here, what I'm saying is 23, but in this 10,000 simulation, we're seeing 18, right? Because I've used 100,000 or a million number of simulation. That's why I got the higher number, okay? So you guys always have to understand that. So whenever um, you know, you're learning a new trading system, you start practicing, you know, if you make 10 trade, 20 trade, 50 trade, 100 trade, and you feel confident about that trading system, I implore you to think about it again, because a hundred number of trade is not a large enough sample, okay? Because the bottom line is that you have to understand what would your edge be kind of thing. So the example here that I just did is just a simple example of flipping a coin, but you know, they are trading system that claim to have 80% winning trade or 90% winning trade, but they are also trading system that only need 45% winning trade. So this is where you got to realize that there's two school of thoughts and how following one advice affect the other. Because we read many books that tell us, don't let your winning trade turn into a losing trade. Guess what? When those people talk about that, that is when you're dealing with trading system that has better than 80% winning trade. When we read other books that tell us to cut our losses short and let our profit run, guess what? That trading system is talking about, you know, 30 to 55% winning trade. So you can, uh, you have to realize, yes, there is a hybrid where you can mix and match those two idea, but that is when you have trading system that anywhere between 55% winning trade and 80% winning trade. So you have to understand what is your winning percentage of your trading system. Because if you don't understand that, you will end up losing money, okay? So, so far, uh, in summary, we did the introduction, the industry landscape, understanding your emotional state, and the Monte Carlo simulation, which provide you with such six fundamental of systematic trading. So now I'm going to announce one book winner and FX Street will do a raffle at the end for another book. Um, I hope you enjoy my presentation. Uh, send me a note, send me an email uh, if you uh, enjoyed it and if you found it informative because I, using your feedback, I hope to present more um, presentation in the future. So does anybody have any questions? Okay, I'm trying to lock into my email here so that I can announce the winner. So if there's any uh, questions, um, feel free to type it in such that I can um, answer it for you. Okay, uh, if you're shy, then you can always send me an email um, later on. Okay, so we have a, a winner uh, for the book. The winner, his name is Mike Martin of Toronto, Ontario. So um, 
Thank you very much, uh, everyone, for joining my presentation. Abak Street will do another random raffle tomorrow, but uh, thank you, uh, Mike. Um, I will send the book out to you today. So congratulations, Mike. And uh, thank you very much, everyone, for joining my um, um, webinar, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.